how's it hanging fellow Sam Otoshin? This is another episode of Yakuza 5 and in today's episode I have to get to Nagasa Taxi. Uh, we'll get there eventually. I have to eventually fucking get out of my way. Eventually get there. Where I want to go with this episode is uh, Komaki Kid. That's what I call this guy because he's Komaki's grandson. So his last name is also Komaki. But I don't fucking remember his first name. I don't even remember Komaki's first name. So why should I remember this guy's first name? I just simply call him Komaki Kid. It's a great fucking nickname, I think. It's a Karate Kid, you know? I'm kind of curious to, at some point, watch Cobra Kai. How the fuck do you take some kids movie from the 80s? Make a sequel to it in form of a TV show that takes place years fucking later and make it like a drama and shit and it's like what, what even I don't know man It's fucking crazy. I got this. I got a beer here straight up. It's called garage strawberry margarita Well, it's a beer drink It ain't like I'm just sitting here fucking drinking some piss water you're back, want to do some training? Why not? Sure, let's do this. I wish these fights give me XP. I Actually, I don't know if they do. Maybe they do. Maybe I just forgot. Like last time, this is another way to use the opening an opponent leaves when he attacks. Even the best of the masters let leave themselves exposed just for an instant as they attack. That's when you use the Komaki Tiger Drop, a vicious move that seizes that opportunity. Oh no, and he's gonna use that on me? Tiger Drop. He used it before, you will know. You only have a brief moment to pull it off. I think in this game, Tiger Drop is uh, particularly fucking difficult to do. Study your opponent's attack, so you will know the perfect time to unleash it. If he fucking hits me with that, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. High risk, high reward kind of thing. Ah, oh, hell no. I hope it's the last fucking move. I hope it's the last move he teaches us. Like, sure, I, I appreciate the rewards I'm getting from training with Sasuke, right? Kamaki kid, but... Ah, fucking training with him, he's fucking difficult. Not to mention, he teaches you these moves. So he's gonna use the tiger drop now a lot. Well, I don't even have... It. I might just do this over and over because I feel like it's safer. I don't deal that much damage. Run. No oh, shit. Ah, he did a tiger drop. See how much health he took away from me? Oh my fucking god, he's gonna destroy me. I didn't even talk like half of his health. No, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I don't care. It's a much better fucking strategy than trying to fight him. Run. Come on, fucker. This fucker is so good. I'm scared. I'm scared of this guy. He's gonna fuck me up. Oh yeah, I got some shit to sell. Like these two things. Oh, he forgot. Oh, come on. It's 
son of a fucking tiger dropping bitch. Fucker. Look at these fucking pipes. Go and pull off a circle. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. I hate this. I hate this so much. Better be the last boss fight against him. I'm gonna die. I just had my health at the maximum level and he fucking destroyed me. My heat? I want my health, not my heat. Oh, fucker. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. I'm losing so much health. Look <laughs> at that fucking piece of garbage. Nice fucking shoes you got, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna run away from it. Oh fucker, I can't lose. That would be super lame. <sighs> Fucking son of a bitch, I hate this guy. Kind of. Kicking my ass to teach me. Oh fuck. No, not the back. Fucking teleporting son of a garbage. Fuck Komaki and his whole lineage. I can't even turn around. Oh fuck you! I didn't even punch him! This did a fucking tiger drop, I tried to get him from the back, you know? Now screw you! I think, I think I remember just now. Give me back my key. And I've gotta trigger my special fucking thing. Except he blocks everything. What a piece of garbage. But he's fucking doing it every single fucking moment he's got. What a fucking jackass, he could be the fucking Yakuza protagonist. He can kick Kiryu's ass so fucking flawlessly. Effortlessly. Fucking tiger drop the son of a fucking bitch. Stop doing that fucking heat move. Does it? I can't do shit to him. Oh, what a hassle! And so many fucking energy drinks had to be downed. I don't even have an energy drink. I have a beer with me. This had better be the last one. I don't fucking care. I'm probably gonna pull off the tiger drop like once by accident. Cause I'm not gonna fucking actively go out of my way to try to fucking do it. Stupid. You made it through, I guess you passed it. Either I pass or I don't. What's the what's to guess about it? I really like to fuss over the details, huh? Man, I really hope I don't end up as useless I a useless old geezer like you and my grandpa. What are you worried about growing old at your age? Nah, truth is, you and my gramps are still kicking some serious ass for your age. Plus, you guys get this cool rough edge that only comes with growing older. What happened to all that trash talk about you being strong and good looking? Well, maybe that's, this will explain it. Got a minute? Clock's ticking. I never knew what my gramps looked like when I was a kid. My dad didn't want anything to do with him. That's because grandpa was a homeless loser. Kind of, I guess. But I was kind of a wimpy little kid. 
kid who were older and bigger would always pick on me. You were bullied when you were a kid? Yeah, pretty sad. Fucking sad backstory. So I ended up seeking out my gramps for help. Had him teach me the Komaki style. Long story short, I became the kick-ass fighter I am today. Gramps even said I had potential. When I decided to get my revenge against those bullies, my gramps stopped me. Told me technique alone is not enough. You must also have a strong heart. Words of wisdom. Yeah, well, I don't get it. Guess I'm really that dumb. Komaki techniques are really powerful. I want to use them to stop bad guys. That's the right thing to do, isn't it? Opening a dojo... Is it what Komaki style is for? The right thing, huh? That's a tough one. It's easy to get beat up... To beat up... Ah, beat down punks to get on your nerves. That's not necessarily the right thing to do. Not like I fucking do it every fucking street corner I pass. The people you call bad guys might be doing what they think is right too. Ever think of that? Get what you're saying, but... What is this fucking morally gray bullshit? I'm so confused, and the stuff all dudes like you say just makes it worse. Gumaki techniques are all I've got. I don't have anything else I can count on. Got one more thing to teach you. It's something I came up with myself. Come back when you're ready. After that, your training will be complete, and we can finally duke out for keeps. Sounds good to me. What do you mean duke out for keeps? Like, just have a full-on fight? So there's two more fights I have to do with this fucking idiot? Oh man. I don't really fucking want to, though. How about, since I'm missing a lot of health, we're gonna try to finish up a restaurant. Not exactly the most thrilling and exciting objectives I set up for myself in this let's play, but... Oh, for fuck's sake, you fat ass piece of shit. Son of a bitch. Landed a hit on me. Yeah, I watched some more Fallout, and episode 4 was about Ghoul trying to sell out Lucy to slave traders. And you know what? One thing is that I thought slave traders would be like a huge faction. But somehow two fucking dudes that look like like they're stoned all the time managed to take over a supermarket and a Mr. Handy robot and they apparently reprogrammed them to to harvest human organs. But it's like I don't know, none of them seem bright enough to, to pull that off. I think they might just simply be looking out for the place for whoever actually runs it. I don't know, just a thing, or maybe they just didn't felt like coming up with anything. Also, these stoners, I don't know, they kind of feel out of place. I think human slave traders would be more fucked up psychopaths or some shit. And these guys were just sitting watching TV and keeping people in fridges. Pretty lame if you ask me. Well, we can get three of them. And I probably should buy some more energy drinks for the upcoming battles. Maybe I could somehow pull off finishing a uh, Komaki Kid whole thing this episode. Pawn shop. Not sure if you can buy energy drinks at pawn shop. You might not be able to. And what else? Lucy loses a finger. The ghoul loses a finger, and they kind of both bite each other's fingers off. Yes, yes. And Lucy has another finger reattached to her hand, which is funny. I've been in a couple of episodes, which is going to look like she she didn't even fucking lost it to begin with. 
Oh, I'm not getting rid of my fucking robot figures. What, are you crazy? Do you sell energy drinks? Uh, yeah, he does. That's a lot of fucking money. Do I want health and heat a little? How come I'm so poor? Why do I not carry around millions of yen? God damn. Shit's fucked up. Anyway. What else do I have to say? Why is it these fucking fat people everywhere? Leave me alone. You can't even run. Can't even keep up with me. And I've got lung cancer developing. How long is this episode? 16 minutes and... Yeah, I don't know. It, it, this episode more folk like the whole Lucy stuff was more fiddler. It didn't even hit Maximus in this episode, so we don't know what's going on with him. And it was more actually, I feel like there's a secret fourth main character to this series because, well, Ghoul, Maximus, and Lucy had their own intros, you know, showing their backstory and everything. Lucy's probably the most important main character. She's the main main character. But I think there's a fourth secret main character, kind of, and it's actually Lucy's brother. Uh, I think his name is Norm. Because he's trying to uncover secrets of what actually went down between the vaults. Because Vault 31, 32, and 33, I don't know if they ever existed previously in Fallout. I imagine they didn't because this show is actually canon to the games. So they probably picked some vaults that never existed before, so they could just have free range of whatever they're, they're about. And apparently these three vaults work together, kind of like a triangle thing. And apparently Vault 32, everybody in it went crazy and killed each other for whatever reason. And no one knew about it. Because Lucy was supposed to, at the beginning of the show, marry a guy from Vault 32. But then it turned out that it's actually not even not even the Vault Dwellers, but a bunch of bandits dressed up as Vault Dwellers. And then they proceed to try to kill everyone from Vault 33. Yeah, let's train. One more thing. Apparently a new move we never knew before. Let's do this. Wonder if it's worth it. This time I'll teach you something more conceptual instead of a straight up technique conceptual yeah it's different from before where i just tell you about a move and you how to use it i don't follow you're not that good at flexible thinking are you well don't worry buddy i'm gonna teach you anyway oh we're buddies now also yeah i'm not very good at thinking in general people have a way of tapping into unimaginable power and their backs against the wall of what if we were able to do that at will? Yeah, that'd be pretty dope, actually. You know what? One time, I did something, like, really mess, like, kind of fucking weird. I'd never been able to replicate my entire life, where I, I burnt my hand, and then I really fucking strongly focused that, no, my hand isn't fucking burning like hell. I don't feel anything. And then I didn't feel anything. The pain just went away. I was like, no, nope, no pain at all. Fuck this shit. I'm not registering any pain. Fuck off. I may have burned my hand on the kettle. I don't care. I'm not I'm not burning. It's fine. And yeah, it just kind of went away. And I was like, what the fuck? My body listened to me? Okay, I wish it always fucking did. It'd be a huge advantage. The fact that you can use Gumaki style moves show that you train your soul, technique, and body. And my spirit. Don't forget that. That means you should be able to tap into off the charts power when you're back into a corner, it's just like me. Off the charts power. The best way to learn it is by doing some brace yourself. The kid gloves are coming off. Got it? You're still wearing gloves, you son of a bitch. You lied to me. Remember, you have to be back into a corner. Just make. Sh just let me take care of that. The rest is for you to figure out. So what? I have to be low on health? Finally, some real training. It's all about be it's all been totally real. Want to take that seriously, old man? Alright, sorry. Whatever, let's get going. You ready? 
I guess. Okay, let's do this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Be backed into a corner? Like what, literally? Go into a corner of the arena? Oh, what is he gonna do? He straight up pulled off a fucking tiger drop. No, fuck off. I, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm supposed to lose because he's just doing tiger drop after tiger drop. Tapping into fucking off the charts power. I don't know what he means. I gotta tap into the fire if I wanna win that victory road tournament. Oh, I fucking turned around. Oh, that fucking move. Oh, come on. Anytime I have a chance to finally hit him, he just does some bullshit. Oh, come on. What about tapping into fucking unimaginable power? Where's my unimaginable power? Fucking asshole. Like this. I need my health back. Downside of having so much health is that I... It's more difficult to get your health back. Oh, come on. You can't both just be using these specials. You fucking cancelled out my special, you piece of garbage. Calm the fuck on, is there like a moment for a split second when you're not doing this bullshit? How is he building up heat whenever possible? It's starting to genuinely piss me off. Just has like a fucking ridiculous advantage. Oh, come on. And what did he taught me? Nothing. What did I learn? He wasn't using a new move. I didn't notice anything different about him. He was just the same as last time. Nice, he nailed that one. Yeah, that one's bound to come in handy. Ultimate Essence Climax Heat? I don't know what that means. Like, what did I learn? My heat builds up faster or something? That'd be pretty cool, I guess. But you were hopeless at first, but I don't think... I didn't think you'd make it this far. It's a pretty backhanded compl compliment. Got me there, old man. But really, you're turning out a lot better than I thought you'd be. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. No problem. Now you should be good enough that I don't have to hold back anymore. So now we can face stuff for real. Hold on. You were holding back? What's the matter? You scared? You know how you'd notice I'd gotten rusty? Well, I noticed something, too. Oh, this should be good. Let's hear it. Relax. I just noticed that you're not as at your full strength potential. Also, there's a piece of trash in the background. I want to pick it up. Oh, what's your babbling about, old man? I'm not one to talk, but your moves are more about violence than martial arts. 
and also cheap fucking usage of of fucking dragon essence, fucking asshole. Master Komaki taught you himself your form would be cleaner and you'd put your heart and soul into each technique. I don't sense that in your fighting, even assuming that you're holding back. Are you just trying to piss me off now? Fine with me. That load of bullshit giving me even more motivation to kick your ass. I don't mind taking you on, but you're trying to prove something. Not just fight. Just say what you mean already, old man. I'm not sure why, but... Something tells me you should go see your grandfather. What? No, oh, I get it. I get what you want. To. I get that you want to be the best and the strongest. I get that you think you looked the part. But it looks to me like you just... Like you're just spinning your wheel. Whatever that means. You're trying to piss me off again? You're not trying to surpass your grandfather. You want to impress him. What the hell are you talking about? By your reaction, I'd say I hit the nerve. Under all that match machoism, you're just a little kid looking for affirmation. You son of a bitch. You think I'm gonna sit here and take that shit from you? I don't care what the old geezer thinks. Already know I'm a total badass. Screw you, old man. Who do you think you are anyway? I'm just pointing out the obvious. You decide what to, what needs what you need to do, but remember, the more you resort to violence the further you stray from your grandfather's path. That's all I have to say. Take some of time to think about it. Damn it. Screw this. I'll settle this next time. You'll pay for this and me. I'll get your ugly ass out of my face. Is he gone? Oh, never mind. Let me pick up the trash. I got a... Uh, it's another fortune. Congratulations on completing all of Sasuke's training. We have sent you a gift for completion this occasion. You can pick it up. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Cool. Cool. I can pick it up. Sasuke is right there. Uh, I have some healing items, but I'm not so sure about pulling this off. Should I try, though? How, how long is this episode? 27 minutes. He doesn't want to talk. All right. That's perfect with me. I imagine he's gonna text me when he cools down. And we're like, alright, I'll cool down. I, I agree with what he said. I really do want to impress my grandfather and that's about it. What's up, Yakuza? I was very amused by you guys. Oh, there was a there was a prompt for a split second. Did I miss it? Was it like how the fuck was I supposed to react to that? What kind of Komaki style martial art expert you think I am? Damn it! Where's the trash? I need to fucking max out my trash completion or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I guess next episode we're gonna follow some more side quests instead of doing a bunch of Komaki training garbage. Check it out. What final thing from the menu? Can I go to the chief, the cook now, and tell him about this wonderful restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh fuck. And what do I get for doing that? I never did it before because I, I thought it was useless and boring and stupid, so I just ignored it on my previous playthrough. And there's a save point right there. <laughs> fuck off. I just ate. No fighting after right right after eating. Come on, man. Nice. Holy shit. Oh, I thought he would like pull him up and hit him on the ground again. Tougher than nails. I don't know if nails are very tough. I mean, I've broken multiple fucking nails throughout my life, so what the hell. And what kind of nails are they talking about? Fingernails or like metal nails, you know, that you hammer down with a hammer? I don't know. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye. Or not? 
Okay, now, see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.